Uh, so today, we're going to go from mixed numbers into improper fractions. We're going to convert our mixed numbers into improper fractions. First, I uh, want to review what a mixed number is. Okay, a mixed number is whenever I have a whole number and a fraction. So in this case, <clears throat> in this case, I have the fraction three and one fourth. Okay. Now, if I want to go ahead and I want to take that mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. Remember, improper fractions are where we have numbers um, that the numerator is bigger than the, the denominator, so it looks kind of different, but it's a value all in the same. So we're going to change this into an improper fraction. To do that, I'm going to take my denominator and multiply by the whole number. So in this case, I'm going to do 4 times 3, and I'll get 12. Okay? Then I'm going to take that 12, and I'm going to add the numerator. Okay? So I have 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 gives me 13. Now, 13 is my new numerator. My denominator is just going to stay the same as my denominator over in my mixed number. So it's going to be 13 fourths. Okay? Okay? Real, real simple process. Denominator times the whole number plus the numerator gives me my new numerator. And then... Well, I keep the denominator the same, okay? Um, I'm going to do another one. Okay, and uh, in this one, again, feel free to go ahead and pause it um, and try it out for yourself the first, first time through. Uh, 12 and 5 uh, eighths. 12 and 5 eighths. Go ahead and pause and try it yourself. Okay. 12 and 5 eighths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my denominator. I'm going to multiply it by my numerator. Eight times 12 gives me 96. Then I add 5. 96 plus 5 gives me 101. Denominator stays the same. 101 eighths. It really is that simple. Okay? Obviously, you might get some pretty big numbers sometimes. Other times, maybe not, but it is that simple, all right?